We continue with our computer courses for beginners with a lesson taking a look at Microsoft Office Word. Now when you first take a look at Word it looks quite complicated so we're going to take a quick look at the basic layout moving on to creating documents in later tutorials. The Microsoft Office Word is a word processing program and the work that we create is shown in the big section in the middle. Now you can customize the screen but we'll stay as we are for the time being. In the middle of the screen I've already started a document and I've typed in Meganga Computer Lessons and I've inserted a picture of a computer. So that's the document we're working on and it's called Document 1 because I haven't changed the title yet. Now that's the work but the command centre is this long toolbar across the top which is called the ribbon. Now it looks very complicated, but there are three basic parts to this ribbon. Firstly we have our tabs, that's the file, home, insert, page layout, references, mailings, review and view tabs. And on each tab is broken down into groups. We have clipboard, font, paragraph, styles and editing and those are the groups that are on our home tab. Within each group are individual commands. So if we take a look at font we've got the B for bold, italic and then underline etc. We can use all these later on. What I want to emphasize is that the main task performing word is writing so the groups and commands used for writing are on the home tab. That's fonts, paragraphing and styles. You'll find this is a similar way of arranging tabs in other Office programs Excel and PowerPoint. The commands paste, cut and copy are also found on the home tab and that's in the group clipboard. We'll take a closer look at these in depth later on and that does look slightly different in Word 2007. Now some commands on the ribbon will only appear at certain times, for example when you're working with pictures. Picture tools will only appear on a ribbon when you're working with a picture. If you also look closely on the groups, some of them have a small arrow at the bottom right hand corner. If we click on that arrow on the fonts, an additional menu appears enabling us to choose any number of different font designs available and with styles. A new menu appears and we can change the type of styles we want to use. Now in Office 2007 there will be a Microsoft Office button in the top left hand corner. In 2010 we have a file tab. If we click on the tab or the button a similar menu appears. Ours is highlighted on info which gives us information about the document we're working on. But along the left hand side in the file we have our commands save, save as, open, close and further down print. That's similar to 2007 where if you click on your button you'll have similar commands listed on your menu. That's enough to take in for the first tutorial. Thanks very much.